Hello and welcome to Cosmeteer. This is the third time I've attempted to do this video because I just got so caught up in it that I just, it's, I love it. Anyhow, before I get started, I just want to point out that this is a free early access, well, yeah, early access, alpha, whatever, game right now, and it has extensive settings. It's a 2D spaceship building and then fighting simulator game thing and you can see we have all these options in here the controls are fully rebindable and everything is awesome you can also edit the colors so if you have um you know uh colorblind issues that kind of thing it also has modding support oh yes uh i that that is off by default but i turned that on because i wanted it on but in any case right now there's creative which allows you to just build whatever i'm just gonna hop into that real quick to show you let's see my ships i made a really shitty um basically inspired by star trek kind of ship and it's real shitty because it's uh, uh well here let me just um built-in ships. Uh, is this the right one? Yes, the avalanche. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pause the game. I'm going to put the... Oh? Is, oh wait, I have to select it and then... Let's see, you're going to be a barbarian and you're going to have the bounty brain AI. I'm also going to turn you around. I, I For some reason I can't do that. Um, also, you have no people set to anything yet. Okay, I, I kind of made this happen too soon. Can I just move you? Actually, let's just uh, let's just straight up delete you by self-destructing because that's cool. And then I will yeah, that'll that'll add something new to the beginning and I'll have this come down here and I'll have you have the bounty brain AI and allegiance will just be player. So these two will fight right away. I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in right here. Do I have Okay, good. It's the exterior view. Now, one problem I do have with this game at this point is I'd like the exterior of my ship to be a lot cleaner than it is and so I'm actually going to look into modding it to make textures that have like smaller windows and like the engines will have like a small like maybe not even have the engine top design and just have it you can tell because it has a thruster poking out of it and um you know some other things like that like maybe reduce this to just the center bit uh these are reactors by the way these green things that's an ftl drive that's a cockpit or not a cockpit a control center no wait that is that's a shield generator i'm a dumb in any case um oh you can't see my mouse oh that's a problem okay now you can see my mouse yes yes ftl drive shields uh, reactor control center crew quarters you'll see all this stuff in a minute after i go through the center bit yeah yeah self-destruct's a pretty cool option but uh in any case these two should start fighting oh are you running no go go up this way let's let's have you guys fight come on and i think i can right click on the order to cancel it okay never mind it's already decided to attack now and for some reason this thing wants to attack facing sideways i guess maybe just the weapon arrangement i have set up tells it that it wants to do that but honestly i think that's probably a, a bad thing in any case we're gonna zoom in now to watch yeah it fires some missiles but this thing has really powerful lasers really fucking powerful lasers which you can see go through the shields pretty quickly and then because this thing wants to face sideways it cuts through it and see if it didn't destroy the control center right there this part would still be controllable and able to fight and in fact it's able to fire missiles still even though it has no control center it has no ability to turn or move or anything, but it can still fire missiles because there's still crew on board that still have, um, whatchamacallit, they still had some missiles on board. Of course, the missile factory was on here, it's destroyed now, unless that's it right there, I can't quite tell. Yeah, that's it right there, it's actually not, now it's destroyed. Yeah. Oh, and now it's going to finish off this bit. Yeah, so you can see the, the shields don't last very long, and the, uh, the warp nacelles have a reactor on them and some, uh, power storage, I believe. Yeah, so they, they go up pretty quickly. Also, there's fire. So you can see this is on fire now, which means uh, the fire will spread pretty quickly. Of course, uh, he'll probably blow it up with the lasers before it gets a chance to uh, have the fire spread much. But yeah, uh, this guy, he did take some damage. Oh, he's finishing off some of the debris. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, we're going to we're gonna go back to the main menu now. 
So you might have noticed Bounty Hunter mode said learn how to play. Uh, it's not actually learn how to, well, I mean, it gives you tutorials when you play it for the first time, but uh, if you already know how to play, it doesn't. So this is the build mode. There's also blueprint mode, which means that your your ex your things that you add don't cost money until after you exit blueprint mode, because by default, uh, the moment you do something, it's, it's done. So like, I'm going to put another laser up there. And uh, now you can see we have below the recommended level of crew. So I'm going to go over to crew. And I'm gonna see, I'm gonna put this right there. So we have more crew now. Of course, we also have uh, no armor there now, but um, it still should actually be stronger than the other side. I'm not sure about that, honestly. But in any case, you can see we have plenty of power, plenty of crew. But, uh, oh yeah, I, there's an option that's to build doors automatically, and I turned that off just because I, I prefer the idea of having to arrange that myself, so I, um, oh good, we do have fire extinguishers on here. Yeah, because fire will completely destroy you if you don't have something to do something about it. In any case, uh, this technically is a, a viable design, so I'm going to go down here to the, uh, go assign us a target, and, um, it's pretty cool. It's it's I, I just love this game. It's like RTS when you're in this mode. You can have multiple ships at your command too. Um, that's FTL fuel, which we okay. Wait wait pause. I'm gonna have you target the lasers, and then the core. Um, the core is behind the cockpit. Now the control room obviously I keep calling it a cockpit. It controls a ship. If you have multiple of them, then one can be destroyed and it can still have control. Also, it does this picture-in-picture -picture thing automatically. It's normally smaller than this, but I made it bigger so you can see the stuff better. And uh, we are taking some damage. We also have run out of power on some of our stuff. But we still have more firepower than this thing. And huh, you can see one of their crew just trying to uh, do stuff. And now you can see it's spinning out of control because we took out the control room. And now it doesn't have thrusters, so it wouldn't be able to stop spinning out of control. Anyhow, now uh, we did take some damage, I believe. Yeah, so now we got to repair. And you can see it's just... Um, so the armor, the armor there, the armor there. And you can repair the things individually, or you can repair all. Which, um, what's still missing? Oh, the, the crew quarters got damaged a little bit. Yeah, so now we're fully repaired. You can also paint it, which you can see this is the default paint for the little starting ship. Um, you could change it up, though. Um, I'm gonna leave it, just because I don't care right now. And I'm going to... Hmm. I want to put a shield generator on this thing, because the shield generator... Uh, pr protects you from a lot, of, quite a bit of damage. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put that there. Of course, that has no access right now, so I'm gonna put a door in there. And five thousand, so it's it's not the cheapest thing, but it's it's all right. Um, I'm right at the recommended amount of power now because of that. Um, what I am gonna do actually is I'm gonna put in a power bank room right there. So now we will bank extra power there, which is cool. So we got some shields. We have less weapons though now, so I need to add more of those back on, which I'm going to do right here and here. And I'm gonna put that on. There is a mirror mode as well, so you can mirror what you're doing, which is useful. Very, very useful. But uh, yeah, now we have less than recommended power. Of course that battery bank will help out with that, but um, ultimately we, we want to have more power available. But uh, I'm not going to do that right now. I think I'm going to get us into a couple more fights first and then continue working on it from there. So I'm going to head over to that target. And yes, you can also speed up time, which I'm going to do right now. I'm also going to stop uh, pausing every time just to target things. So like this, I'm going to target that, then that, control room, and then the reactor. So you can you can actually chain up what you're targeting. And you can see their, their shots aren't doing anything to us just because we have uh, a shield here. Now you can see the shield is getting a bit red, so it would go down if they were able to keep shooting. Of course, at this point, uh, their weapon is facing away from us, and so, yeah, we destroyed their weapon. And you can see we're, we're running out of power. We're actually having a problem with power, and it's just the crew can't supply it with power quickly enough. So even though we have the storage bank, it's not really doing us any good right now, just because the crew are all busy. And I think that has to do with... No, no, I have the maximum amount of crew. I was going to say, I think it has to do with the fact that I didn't hire crew, because I might have turned off auto-hire. I don't remember. Yeah. And there you go. Target defeated. So, now I'm going to go back into build, and we need more crew. So what I'm thinking I'm going to do... Hmm. Oh, I know what I can do. I will grab the control room. I will turn it sideways and put it there. Then I will replace the small beds there with a full quarters here. And then doors, they need to be able to get to the, 
control room, which then has access to the rest of the ship as well. So now we have more crew to be able to deliver power. And just for the aesthetics, I'm going to go ahead and put a little structural piece in there. And um, I'm actually going to go ahead and change up some of the armor a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and use mirror mode and put in more armor there. So that's a little more protected. And actually, honestly, this should be armor just because that's the control room. Um, turn off mirror mode. Yeah, so there we go. That's a bit more armored. And uh, just for the aesthetics of it, I'm going to go ahead and put out put some armor there. And now you can see it's a little bit better. I, I want to call this the hammerhead. I already had another design that I called the hammerhead, but uh, I feel this is more appropriately the hammerhead. I, I, just, I just feel like that's the correct option. But in any case, we have another guy to destroy, and then after we destroy him, we're going to need an FTL drive in order to go to other sections. Okay. Oops, that's one-fourth speed. So yes, there is one-fourth speed as well. And we're going to just target those and then the reactor. And you can see we take them out pretty quickly because we have four lasers to their one. And you can see, uh, oh, we did manage to run out of power, even though we have more crew. Probably because we don't have as much power as we should. It also could just be the distance, because distance plays an important fact. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and blow that out of the... <laughs> Yeah, it's, they're just trying to destroy that one last bit of structure. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just thought that would be funny. In any case, yeah, no damage from that, so we can go straight into build mode. And the thing we will need is an FTL drive. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck it. Let's let's just put it right here. And then, um, now what we are going to need to do... I, I do want to armor that more, though, because FTL, it's kind of important to keep that alive. So what I think I'll do is I will move these small thrusters out and then I will hmm actually be nice to uh be nice to move these out a little bit too I think and uh, they're, they're at the edge of the uh, sheltering range of the uh, shield although usually enemies focus fire pretty close to the center so they probably wouldn't be hit anyhow but I'm thinking uh, something like, I, I need another reactor on here, and I'm trying to decide where to put that. I'm thinking I should just go ahead and maybe move these up to here, and then go ahead and put just a tiny bit of armor wedging there, and then I can, let's see, I want to move stuff around a bit. Now, I'm thinking the FTL drive could actually be... Actually, it, it probably should stay right where it is. But the quarters... Like, let's move one set of quarters there. And then... Oh, yeah, that's not going to let me move it because it's essential structure at this point. Uh, we'll go ahead and put the reactor in there. And then we'll move... Oh, yeah, I still can't move it because it's going to do that. So this is where blueprint mode comes in handy. Because then I can move it around without it actually... Like, see, this is invalid structure right now. But I can move things around until I get a valid structure. Let's go ahead and put that there. I'm going to put that over here for a moment. I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put this reactor storage right in the center. I'm also thinking of just replacing, just straight up replacing our two smaller thrusters with one large injury, with more than twice the force of a standard thruster. Yeah, so I'll just put one bigger thruster right there. So that'll be nice. And then doors. Now, obviously, we need to be able to access all of this stuff. So I'll put a door there. A door there, and doors to access the reactors, and of course we need a door for these beds to be able to access everything. So everything's linked up now. It may not be the most, well actually no, these still need to be linked up. It, it may not be the most efficient design, but hey, it's it's what I did. Um, now we do have side thrusters, good. Um, I feel like we should have some, some more armoring. Now at this point we're doing good on power. Uh, I'm thinking about actually just um, straight up moving this bed here actually and moving this FTL there and then putting another set of beds right here so we have plenty of crew oh but that that will cost more than we can afford so I can I can reduce how many crew I'm hiring to make it a bit cheaper um, I do definitely want to do that though and I'm thinking of course we need to have these beds able to access everything so I'll do that and that and I'll have this, 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 so we have uh, good access to everything. And uh, we do need a fire fire station somewhere on here. 
uh, very important fire extinguishers. I'm going to go ahead and actually put two on, and I'm going to put them not right next to the reactor, just in case the reactor blows, although I think one of these reactors blowing might take out everything. So, you know, I'm not sure about that. But in any case, that's kind of the basic idea. Now, we can do that and hire only three crew and get away with it. Um, oh, but I, I do need to reattach these, of course. Um, which I can do with just structure, which is the cheapest thing, cheapest building material. Um, I might do that. I, I'd prefer to have this thing armored. In fact, actually, I'll, I'll just attach some more structure there. And what I'll do is I'll put a bit of armor plating right here, mirrored, of course. Oh, but that'll go right in line of the thruster, so I can't actually do that. Um, I might be able to just put armor in along here. That's what I'd prefer to do. Let's see if I can make that work. Yeah, by hiring no more crew, but but putting in these new things. Oh, but you know what? I need an FTL. Oh wait, I did put an FTL in there. I forgot. Also, actually, there is there is a problem with this. Those um, engines need to remain accessible so that uh, they can be refueled. So um, that should that should do it. So now you can see they can access these. Uh oh, something's not accessible. Oh, the reactors, the, the whole bottom half of the ship isn't accessible because I'm an idiot. And let's go ahead and turn off mirror mode and blueprints. Um, we'll put the... what? Oh, I don't have the money for it! Oh shit! I need to sell something in order to have the money for it. That's, that's, uh, that's rather unfortunate. Alright, so we're gonna get rid of this, this wedge on the pack armor. Just one wedge, so we can put a door in there so that the crew can access the frickin' power reactors, because we, they actually couldn't access them. Which is a really dumb move on my part, but yes, now everything is accessible, and all fairly well armored. You can see we have some better thrusters, some other stuff, yes, and, uh... Oh yeah, of course, uh, we need to plot a jump now. So, um, oh, fortunately there's a place that's really fucking close. So we'll just set that up, and you can see they start bringing power into the FTL drive. Also, this FTL drive, what's our efficiency? Does it, does it not tell me? Oh, I, I can't see it right now. And, uh, yeah, it's spun up. We can go ahead and jump. Which does a really cool effect. And we're gonna go ahead and target this guy. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and clear this sector, and then once I clear this sector, we'll consider this episode done. Yes, this will be an episode. I'm gonna continue with this, because it is fun. And also, maybe I can get better at it, because I've played it a little bit before, but I wasn't very good at it. I wasn't very creative with it either, and uh, so far, I'm liking this design better. Oh, it's a mosquito. Those are the easiest freaking things to destroy. I'll go ahead and aim this way. Yeah, so we're, it, it only has a single laser, so it's it's not very effective. Not very effective at all. And... is that? Is that? Oh, no, yeah, now it's being damaged, and boom. And uh, now we just gotta take out that. It's gonna take a little bit just because it's rotating, so we're gonna end up damaging a bunch of random bits and maybe destroying some of them just in the process of trying to get to the reactor. There we go. Beautiful. And I accidentally left that thing on that will pop up notifications while I'm recording. I am sorry about that. Um, we can actually hire more crew now. In fact, we can fully uh, fill this thing with crew, which is good because now we can uh, do stuff even quicker. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward just a bit. And what is this? Fanged fighter. Oh, hmm. I thought this was uh, less advanced than it is. I mean, yeah, less advanced than it is. I thought it, for some reason I thought it only had one gun on it. I don't know why. Yeah, and you can see it actually managed to do quite a bit to our shields. But uh, now it's just a reactor and some thrusters and a couple of crew that are still trapped. I don't like how crew will still be able to walk around on this damaged structural bit because I feel like that's just not right but oh well it is an early development game and uh yeah we still we we haven't been damaged which is awesome i'm, I'm kind of thinking i want to be able to just keep this thing oh this has a cannon yeah that's that's got to be the priority because cannons are very destructive that can actually kill us or at least start fires and damage us but yeah, we, we still haven't taken out their cannon, but for some reason they're they're aiming in a way that's uh, 
Actually, let's just go ahead and target that and then... Nope. Oh well. I'm, I'm gonna target a random piece of armor. I'm probably gonna destroy that in the process. Yep. And then they're gonna finish off that piece of armor for no reason. And now we're gonna go after the reactor core. And it should be, yep, pretty quick. And let's go over there. <laughs> Almost hit their debris on the way. And we should be coming into... Oh yeah. I just remembered I can look down at the bottom to see when we're in sensor range. Oh, this is actually uh, potentially dangerous just because it has two of those cannons. In fact, uh, our shields are... Mmm, they're gonna fail. Yep, there we go. Our engine... Oh, but we took out their cannons at the same time they broke our shields, so they actually still haven't managed to damage us, even though you can see we're running out of power on various things. I actually want to turn that off. There is a setting for that. Uh... Auto save before screen shake on ship indicators. This is the stuff that's yeah, no crew, no ammo, no power. I actually don't want those just because um, I've gotten used to the way it looks and I can see when there's no power, no crew without that. Hey, look, it's a little <laughs> die, little piece of thing. Oh, yeah, and we're gonna chase it down. There we go, killed it. Yeah. So this game's fun, and I'm gonna go ahead and save this for now. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will see you in space.